the Philippines, Olympian Carlos Yulo, world champion and the reigning two-time Southeast Asian Games all-around champion. Down from his usual capacity. Arguably, the single standout moment of men's qualification came from this gentleman on this piece, Carlos Yulo of the Philippines. He scored 15.266 for an outrageous floor routine. Matching that might be virtually impossible. Or it might not be. <laughs> Beautiful start. Two and a half twist to immediate front double pike. And this, a double twisting double layout with both of the twists done on the second layout. Highly unusual and really beautiful. Front layout full to front two and a half. We can't overemphasize the difficulty. And here, a triple twist as a side pass. Most gymnasts do a double twist. He does another full twist, having already done some of the most difficult tumbling passes you can do. And notice that his landings are incredibly precise as well. The last pass should be a three and a half. It is. That is a quite stunning beginning to his all-around final. Carlos Yulo of the Philippines, the third strongest in qualification. No gymnast from the Philippines has ever won an all-around medal at the World Championships. He is the reigning Southeast Asian Games champion. It would have been significantly lower had he not saved that so well. Excellent from Carlos Yulo. 15.166. He drops just a tenth from qualification, but he was so good in we were talking about minimizing those issues and taking the fall, coming back on, and picking up points once again. Carlos Yulo of the Philippines will be hoping for something that in no way resembles qualification. This is a key routine for him, maybe the key routine. 11.766 in the preliminary round. He's certainly capable of a great number on pommel horse. Beautiful extension on his flares. Having a full twist as well. Just seemed to come out of nowhere that moment. He stayed on, hefty deductions. He's just about got through, not the tidiest looking pirouette to dismount. A very interesting start. I, I made the dreadful decision to say in the last rotation that Pommel Horse was starting to behave itself a little more, but now that the top group have gone to Pommel Horse, we seem to be back to the narrative. To Carlos Yulo of the Philippines, on the rings. This is an excellent event for him, usually. And it's worth making the point that since this is a six apparatus competition, it's a marathon and not a sprint. Yes, he had difficulty on pommel horse, but he is not potentially out of it yet. Very good inverted iron cross. The Jonasson, and then a roll to a traditional iron cross. He has got such splendid form, hasn't he? The execution of every element he does is just magnificent. Some slight Struggles to control that handstand, though. He's a bit arched. On the whole, that was very positive from Carlos Yulo. He's from Malate in Manila, but has been based, as I'm sure many of you know, for a long time in Japan, in Tokyo, where he went in 2016.
reaction after that. Carlos Yulo's score has actually gone up by three tenths, so that is rather interesting. And in here comes some more serious difficulty. Carlos Yulo of the Philippines. This is where he will be hoping to really push up. He scored almost 14. Actually, I was going to say almost 14 and three quarters. He got more than 14 and three quarters in qualification, 14.733. This should be the same vault that we saw from Tanagawa Wataru. Oh, it is, and he's just not there on the dismount. And for Carlos Euler, that was a really huge opportunity for him to move considerably up the leaderboard. What is amazing about this vault is that he actually over-rotates it. He has that much power. Most gymnasts that do this struggle to get their bodies around, but not him. And this beautiful diver-like body position, in spite of the way it was landed, it's really a nice vault. In the air, it's delightful, isn't it? And you're quite right in that allusion to diving. It really does look like a, a diver leaping off the 10-meter platform. Qualifying, and he's looking a lot better than that so far. 14.166 for Carlos Euler. Just take a moment, think about the way he landed that vault. Look at that score, and you'll see how good he was on the apparatus that he has just performed so fantastically. If Carlos Yulo is to make an unlikely late dash for the podium, here could well be at the heart of it. He scored 15.3 in qualification. Extraordinary pop to handstand on one rail. It's one of those moments where you actually need to see the coach walking in the background just to know your <laughs> screen hasn't frozen. Watching him is a lesson for every young gymnast in how to execute well. His toe point, his extension, the beauty with which he just infuses all of these movements. It's second to none. For a moment, the waters of the Mersey are calmer than they have ever been. Silky smooth, elegant, divine. That is Carlos Yulo at his very best. And it's very clear why he is. 15.133 for Carlos Yulo. And he's in fourth. Carlos Yulo, sixth place, coming to his final apparatus, giving away around a mark and a half on Tanigawa Wataru in the bronze medal position. Tanigawa will be the last to go. Again, a mark and a half isn't an enormous amount when it's horizontal bar. This is the only apparatus where he really lacks some of the difficulty to challenge the top men in the world. But as ever, what he does is remarkably clean. That caught it too close. And so he does stop the routine. Full mark deduction. but we can't emphasize enough the potential that he has as an all-around gymnast.
for the reigning Southeast Asian Games all around champion. It's going to be a case of nearly, but not quite on this occasion. We're going to see more of him at these championships and he just stops and reflects for a moment. Perhaps a feeling of what might have been today for Carlos Hulot. So Carlos Hulot's score is 11.9. That has him in fifth position at the moment. From the Philippines, Carlos Yulo finishes eighth in the all-around competition.